I am a girl with Asperger's syndrome. I'm the Aspie girl. Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. Now, if you're like me, you love both Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and Frappuccinos. Sadly, they have never combined the two. They have never considered making a Reese's Frappuccino for us Reese's and Frappuccino lovers. Well, I have actually come up with a recipe for a Reese's Frappuccino, and in this video, I will be showing you how to make it. I am making this video for those of you who want a Reese's Frappuccino. Let's get into the recipe. To make a Reese's Frappuccino, you'll need a blender, coffee, an ice cube tray, milk, peanut butter chocolate ice cream, peanut butter, milk chocolate, I'm using Hershey's chocolate, a sweetener of your choice, I'm using sugar, and whipped cream is optional. First, brew your coffee. You'll need enough coffee to fill the ice cube tray, so make sure you make enough coffee. Next, fill the ice cube tray with the coffee, and then put it in the freezer until the coffee is frozen solid. Now, you can skip this long step and use regular ice cubes and coffee, but it'll dilute and ruin the flavor, which you do not want. Coffee ice cubes will not dilute the flavor at all. Put equal amounts of milk, chocolate, and peanut butter in a microwave safe container and microwave them in 30 second intervals until they are melted, and then mix them until combined. After your coffee ice cubes are frozen, put them all in the blender along with an equal amount of milk, a couple scoops of peanut butter chocolate ice cream, your melted peanut butter milk chocolate mixture, and start with half a tablespoon of your sweetener. Now, if you want the true Reese's flavor, you need to add both the ice cream and the melted mixture, not one or the other. Blend until smooth. If it's not sweet enough, add another half a tablespoon of sweetener and blend again. Keep doing that until the sweetness is to your liking. Pour your frappuccino into a cup and then add your toppings. You can add whipped cream like I'm doing. And you could even add some mini Reese's peanut butter cups or Reese's pieces on top, but I don't have either of those. You can then enjoy your Reese's frappuccino. This is such a delicious frappuccino. It tastes exactly like a Reese's peanut butter cup. It's unbelievable. If you love Reese's peanut butter cups, you'll absolutely love this. To be honest, Starbucks should start selling this. It'd be a big hit. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make a Reese's Frappuccino. If you liked this video, please subscribe for more videos on my channel. I post a new video every Friday. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Also, please comment down below if you like my Reese's Frappuccino idea, and if you liked it if you tried it. Thank you for watching. Bye!